Um, Gaffer, uh, back after um, a few days' rest, uh, how much needed was that? Yeah, it was certainly needed for the players. I think obviously the the seven games in 28 days was it? Uh, it was tough for them, and obviously with the squad being a little bit depleted, uh, it was certainly needed. The lads have been back in since Monday, fresh, uh, refreshed, I should say, and, and we're ready to go. Yeah, look, sometimes you know you've got to take them opportunities when you get international breaks like that. It's not a case of oh, you've got six or seven days off. It's you're working off that, but you just a bit more time with the families and a bit more downtown, if you like, and that's certainly what they've done. So it was much needed, I must say. And since they've come back in from Monday, raring to go, and the rest, I presume, has done them well. Yeah, well, definitely. I think when when you're hosting a you know big club like Sheffield Wednesday and a big fan base like them, you know, along with ours, it bodes well, doesn't it? And the lads are excited. They've been talking about it all week, and um, you know, but I can speak louder than words for me. And you know, the group are, are excited by it. You know, obviously we're, we're potentially a sellout in what we can have. I know they've sold loads of tickets in their numbers and you know we'll be loud and proud as well. But in terms of these are the games you want, aren't they? You know, when when you're looking at the fixtures coming out throughout the season, these are the type of games you want to be playing in. So the lads are excited, I'm excited, my coaching st- staff's excited. And that's what I'm looking forward to. It's a team obviously you know well, um and you know how well they, they, they travel and support their team, as you said, I think two thousand tickets. Potentially well the away end will be sold out, the home end will be close to being sold out. It is going to have that big match feel, isn't it? Which you know, we haven't seen a lot over the last year or well, so. No, I, th- I think the last time was um, was was Swindon, wasn't it? Was the eighteen thousand yeah, the first yeah. time the standard open? But yeah, look, you know, two big clubs locking horns and two big fan bases locking horns, and, and that's a buzz for me. It's a buzz for the players. It's a buzz for everyone associated with the football club. Uh, yeah, Sheffield Wednesday do travel in the numbers. They're, they're a fantastic support. They have a fantastic support home and away. But so do we. And it's going to be one of them exciting afternoons where I think and I hope both teams are, are singing along and cheering the teams on. Uh, but as I said, these are these are championship games, these. These are championship clubs locking on together. I know we're not there not at the moment. I know Sheffield Wednesday not. But you know, for me, these are two big clubs locking on to get three points. And it's hopefully going to be an exciting afternoon. And two sides that have started the season well. I mean, you know, they've they lost their first game just before their international break, but we're on a great run of form. So, you know, it's going to be not only great in the stands, but should be great on the pitch as well. Yeah, look, you know, Sheffield Wednesday have some fantastic talents, haven't they? I think, you know, they've got championship players as we speak now. Uh, I think everyone in there have come from the championship last season. I don't think many who have been in League One or League Two, uh, a bit like ourselves. But, you know, we, we can't look at oh, they've got a bigger budget than us. We, we don't look at that. We just look at our team and we feel our team can compete against their team. Their team will feel they can compete against anyone. Um, but, you know, they're coming to a different territory in, in, in own park on Saturday afternoon. I don't know whether the last time they were here, I'm sure Chris might know, but in terms of, for us, we've got to go about our business. We're a good team. They're a good team. They're going well under Darren and so are we. Um, you know, expectations are a lot higher for Sheffield Wednesday than they are for Plymouth Argyle, and rightly so. But what we've got to do is we've just got to go about our business the right way, which we will. We, we've planned all week for this game. You know, I'm sure Darren's done the same with Sheffield Wednesday. And as I said, it's t- two big clubs, two big fan bases, two good football and teams locking on to take three points.